Welcome back. Catching up on last video, we now create our obstacles. Let's now create our first obstacle. Create a sprite object named car. I'm using two different sprites just for the looks. Check the origin, collision polygons, and set animation speed to zero, because we don't want it to cycle. This way you can have many different cars within just one object, they will all behave the same. Place your cars in the next row from the frog, which is two grid squares, and have plenty of space between them so the frog can move. Then change the initial frame so we see our second car and set angle to 180 so they will face opposite directions. Let's add behaviors to these cars. First, a right behavior so they leave and re-enter the screen and a valid behavior to control their movement. Set the speed of the cars to 100 in the second row and 150 in the first row. You can use any value and see which one fits you better. A quick test. and ready to go. Now create a new event when frog on collision with car destroy frog. Okay, we don't need to see the boundaries anymore, so set their initial visibility to invisible. In the gameplay layer, create another sprite object, name it mobile. This will be our log on turtles object. First the log. Check the origin and collision polygons, rename the animation to log. Then create a second one and name it turtle. The turtles are supposed to be on the surface of the water and then dive in a pattern. We'll do it with animations. We have three sprites. Check the collision polygons, but since the frog will stay on top of them, leave the polygon as a box. Just make it closer to the turtles. Now set the animation speed to 1, loop to yes, and ping pong to yes. This means when the animation finishes, it will go backwards. Now add another frame and leave it as empty. This is when the turtles are diving.
you can change the individual frame speed by selecting them and changing the value. In this case, set the first and last frame to 2, so the frog has more time to stay on top and to wait for the turtles to surface. Place your mobile objects in three rows over the water zone, but change at least one to initial animation to turtle. Place a turtle in groups. Now select any of them and add a wrap behavior and a body behavior. Select the different rows and set the bullet speed for each one. This time we want our second row to be the fastest one. Of course, change it to taste. So far so good! In the next video we'll cover how to get a frog to stay on top of the turtles. And thanks for watching!